Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl from Ilungo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, everything that you guys do. We're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right, and may you stay blessed almost at 18,000 subscribers. And I'm so, so excited. And all thanks goes out to you guys. Um, a big shout out to the person that suggested this video. And today we're going to be reacting to a book of Imperishable Wonders, The Example of Mosquito. <coughs> so without wasting time, let's get into the video. Indeed, God does not refrain from giving an example to teach mankind of a mosquito or anything that surpasses it in smallness or greatness. Part of verse 26, chapter 2. The creative power of the Almighty reveals itself in the smallest as well as in the biggest of His creatures. God gave examples of tiny beings most people would look down upon, like mosquitoes, flies, spiders, bees, and ants. We come across them in everyday life, but are heedless of the power of their creation and oblivious of the fact that the smaller a creature, the more complicated it really is. God gave an example of a mosquito or anything that surpasses it in smallness or greatness. What does science tell us today about mosquitoes? The mosquito is an insect with a slender body, six long legs, a pair of scaled wings fluttering at a speed of 60 beats per second, and a pair of halters and sensors, or hind wings, which allow it to balance and stabilize. The mosquito's eye is compound. It is made up of hundreds of minute eyes, anatomically independent, but functionally integrated. This accounts for the power of its vision at night and day and overall light spectrums. In spite of its tiny size, the mosquito shares with the animal kingdom all biological systems. And yet, the female mosquito is one of the most deadly disease carriers ever, transmitting malaria to 270 million humans per year, killing 2 million in the process. The Quranic revelation precedes modern entomology by 1300 years, by giving an example exclusive to a single female, pointing out the individual living pattern of mosquitoes and the superiority of the female over males when it comes to endangering man's health as a blood-eating pest. This is an entomological discovery only proven in the year 1900. A book of imperishable wonders. I once reacted to the spider and the female was more dominant. The mosquito, the female mosquito is also dominant in this situation. It's very, very interesting information. I mean, like I said, it's interesting and something that i get to learn things to you guys um there's not there's no instrument in this world be it uh mosquitoes and spiders whatever the case is that god can use to teach us one thing or another he could use anything big or small to try and teach us something and still there won't be any difference because at the end of the day you get to learn something at the end of the day you get to go through something 
and um it's just not the bad things i mean it's just not about us getting sicknesses at the end of the day despite the sicknesses that are spread through by animals whatever the case is god always sees us through i mean these are just creations that are being shown that it was said in the quran this many years ago only for scientists now to discover that this is what happens or this is how these animals actually function animals insects whatever it is this is how they function and it's up to us to use that knowledge this is why this is why i always say if all these if all these things have been written down in the quran how scientists actually read it to actually prepare the people for maybe things that may come going forward so yeah that was that let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video